Once upon a time, today and tomorrow. Yes, history mostly repeats itself. Take, for instance, the banker and the cobbler. Well, let's rather maybe look at a bit of a pumped up version of the story to fall in line with young adult literature. Ah, Shumi, is that what I think it might be? Aye, banker boy, indeed so. It's a fancy designer boots. It ordered from my grandfather's cobbler shop for your beautiful Lucy. Oh, fantastic. They're right on time for our three-week anniversary. Bibi, would you please be as kind as handling the invoice for me now? Oh, I'm afraid I don't have enough cash on me today. I could, however, make a quick internet transfer. Would you be willing to wait? You know, Bibi, unfortunately, my grandfather is very old, and so is the shop. We still deal in hard cash only. Shumi, why don't you come on in and uh, I will see whether I can find some dough somewhere. Jeeves, let my friend Shumi in and kindly make us some cool drink. So, Shumi, Jimmy's been telling me that you sometimes really struggle and don't even have enough money to buy air, time and text. But still, you're always in such a good mood. What is your secret to happiness? Well, sure, those things are fun to have. But I have many things keeping me busy. And when I'm busy, I'm happy. I do not miss airtime and online gaming. I do not have them. I do not miss them. Never thought of it that way before. Listen, Shum, I actually don't have enough cash with me tonight. But there might be a way that we can try and cut a deal. Kind of deal, BB. Tonight is a special night. We are celebrating my grandmother's birthday. And I have to take a portion of this money to buy us all the Wacky Wednesday special. Look, man, I only have 200 rand with me. It should be enough for your burger house treat. Plus, I can offer you my own state-of-the-art cell phone with a data contract of 2 gig per month to go with that. Eh? Are you being serious? I will be able to buy the Wacky Wednesdays after all, and I will be able to text all of our clients about their unclaimed shoes at the Glenwood Cobbler Shop. Here you go, my friend, and thank you once more. Eee! No, 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 no! I need more data! Son, could you come on over and help me with the stitching on them boot? Hi! I'm coming, Grandpa! Shumi, son, what's going on? You're like always preoccupied and almost never come when I'm calling you anymore. Papa, you were right. I have allowed this cell phone to steal my time and it has stolen my happiness. Papa, I know what I should be doing with a cell phone. I shall be returning it. And I will. I will go to Bibi straight away. And I shall return it. Papa, please forgive me. You see, friends, the moral of the story is a simplified life can generate a world of happiness.